Hey everybody. Um, oh, I guess I can get myself in there a little bit. Uh, I'm teaching um, some preschoolers that can't go to school because of quarantine. And so I thought I'd just do a quick video of our first lesson for the first day of school with art. I was an art teacher for a few years. So um, um, what I was going to do today was to do some some uh, color mixing and uh, we read the book, The Dot. And um, so then we played this little game about primary colors and I actually had my, took my watercolor guys out of here. All right. And so what I did was I said, oh, I actually lost my red crayon. So it's like, oh, there's a yellow cap and, what, and a yellow crayon. And there's a blue cap and a blue crayon. And whoops, I guess I should have this this way. Blue watercolor. What crayon is missing? And so then, oh, fun, we can guess that it was the red. Then I can say, huh, we have a uh, yellow cap and a yellow uh, watercolor and we have um, a blue cap and a blue watercolor. We already know that the red one's missing so now what's missing or even take this away and and uh, you know just play a game like this with the primary colors. I had the students say primary and I said that means first. So these are from what all the colors come from. And then that was our little game about that. And we were also talking about dots. And really, you, those could be two separate lessons, maybe probably even should be. Um, so I said, well, here's a dot. Because of reading the book, the dot, this is, here's a dot. And then I had a coin and I said, oh, here's another dot. And can you find some dots in your home or around you? Then what we did, and I have the setup here where there's the watercolors, the water and a brush, and a little paper towel. And so then we decided we would paint some dots. So we took turns choosing colors. Choose red first, and so on. Do a small dot. And we're learning also at the same time to rinse your brush between colors. Tap it if you don't want too much water or even you can dab it on the paper. It's probably not that great an idea to dab it on the paper with watercolors because you need a little bit of water to make the colors flow. And then uh, we learned not to dig into the paint. See, so um, we begin by learning how to take care of materials so you don't want to dig. It's a temptation for kids because sometimes they want an acrylic solid paint, so then they're tempted to dig into it. The other thing we don't do is to go like this across the paints because that's tempting too, like in a watercolor box. It's fun, but it messes up the paints. Now, we don't worry about making brown or whatever color they make because that's fun to make too, and we need brown sometimes. So we just basically, we did dots. And then we started mixing in and seeing what would happen with the primary colors. Oh, we made some green. What would happen if I took yellow, which I've gotten dirty. Yellow always gets dirty. I used to have to buy extra yellows because you go through it so fast for some reason. Let me mix in some red and, oh, and just keep discovering what happens when you mix paints. And, um, we encouraged the students to try to fill their paper, make all different size dots. And then uh, we experimented with making little crayon dots. And then painting over those to see what would happen. And my trouble is I get so excited that I forget to stop talking to but the kids will get into the process and uh, it's good for them to have some quiet. So I put some Enya on. I used to do that in my classroom, just put some soft music on. One of my students said, 
Oh, it's gentle. So quietness is a good thing, let them think. And then maybe you can put a circles around your dots if you want. I mean, every now and then they might need a nudge as to something new to do. We're learning about dots and mixing colors. Now I did a couple of tricks. One is you get your paper fairly wet. And I maybe need to bring this a little closer. And then you put the color, watercolor in it and oh, it just kind of explodes. It's so fun. And they'll go like this and just stir it in. But if they don't, it's even cooler. <laughs> But don't tell them not to do, not do like, they get so crushed if you say, oh no, don't do it like that. They just will crumble. And I understand that, so I just never say, you just try to, well, yeah, that's nice. Unless they're doing something destructive to the materials or something. So anyway, put the color in here. And when it's all puddly, I can put another dot kind of close by. And I'm gonna put some, I'll put some blue in here with some water and I guess I need a little bit more blue. And then the cool thing to do is to take and make a water bridge and then connect the two colors and you can even move your paper. So that's it, lesson one. I will keep up with it, I hope. Ciao.